Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson we're going to learn how to name alcohols, aldehydes and ketones. So the molecule that you can see on your screen, do you know what that is or what type of molecule it is? Well done if you said it's an alcohol because it's got that OH part and we know in the word alcohol it's also got the OH and we also don't have any double bond oxygens or anything like that. So we can say it's an alcohol. So we start off with our table and to do that we need to know how many carbons we have so we have four so that's going to be BUT then we need to know the homologous so we know that it's an alcohol now alcohols end in the word ol now that alcohol is on carbon number two so we'll put a two like this but something I need to add here which is a little bit different to the others we don't say but two ol like that when it's an alcohol we're actually going to say butan like that. So that's the name of this molecule. It's going to be butan 2 o which is the same as like butanol, but the 2 just tells us where the alcohol part is. And then for the attachments, there aren't any. The rest is just hydrogens and that's normal. So that's the name of that one. It might feel a bit weird right now, but we're going to practice this. So what type of molecule would this be? Well, it's got a carbon double bond oxygen at the very end, so it's on the side. If it's on the side, it's an aldehyde. But first, let's look at our carbon chain. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, which is pent. So I'm going to write down the word pent. Then there are no attachments. So now, how do I show that it is an uh, that it is a aldehyde? Okay, well, just like with alcohols, for aldehydes, you're going to say pentan. Now, aldehydes are always on the side, so they will always take place at carbon number one. And so for this one, you will not say one, okay? Because for this one, it's always going to be like that, so you don't have to specify anything. And so we can say pentan, and then we add the word al at the end of that. Okay, so it's pentanol. This is the way aldehydes end, so that's the name. You're going to have the, you're going to say pentan, and then you're going to have the al part attached to that and we don't have to specify which number it's on because the aldehyde part is always on the side so it will always be on carbon number one so you're not going to do something like this okay it's always going to be on carbon number one so this part here is correct so what type of molecule is this well here we've got a carbon double bond oxygen but it's within it's in between two carbons and so this is a ketone so let's first go and count the number of carbons there. I keep forgetting that part. So that's four. So four is going to be but. Then it's on carbon number one and two. So we're going to say two. Now ketones, we use the name one. Okay, and that makes sense. I mean, there's a one over there. So I know there's a lot of different things I'm showing you guys, but with practice, you'll see it becomes quite easy. And then also we're going to add the word an. So it's going to be butan, and then on carbon number two, there is the functional part, and so we say butan two, one. So we've done all of the types, now we're just going to practice a bit. So here we have another alcohol attached to a four carbon chain, so that's butan, and then it's on carbon number one, so you can do that. Because it's on carbon number one, remember there is that option to just leave out the one, but that's only if you want to, okay? I always advise people just to do it like this. So that's going to be butan, and then on carbon number one, we've got the alcohol. Notice we say butan, and we don't say but. So here is a three-carbon chain, so that's going to be prop. But then we see that there's a carbon double bond oxygen on the side, so that's an aldehyde. So then we have to say propan. And then we don't say one. Why? Because it's always on one for this one. So here's one where they're very strict with this. You don't want to say one because it's always going to be on carbon number one. You can't find a aldehyde where it's not on the side. And so then you add a l over there. And then any attachments, there aren't any for this one. And so that's the molecule over there. Here we have a carbon double bond oxygen between two carbons. So that is a ketone. We've got a three carbon chain. And so that's prop. But because it's a ketone, we're going to say pro propan, and then it's on carbon number two, where you have that. Now here's something quite interesting that I'm going to mention. We could have also have just said propan one like that. The reason for this is we know that it doesn't work for all ketones, but it does work for this one. We know that if someone gives us the molecule pro propan, we know that that's three carbons, and we know that if it's a ketone 
the double bond oxygen has to be in the middle. So then it's very easy to know that it must be over there. It can't go onto this one over here because then it's an aldehyde. And it also can't go onto this one over here because that's an aldehyde. So when you have a three carbon molecule and it's a ketone, well then we obviously know exactly where the double bond oxygen is. And so many teachers will explain to you that you don't have to say propan two one. And so guys, in summary, if it's an alcohol, then you have to, then you, for example, if you say butan, then you must say where the double bond, where the alcohol part is like that. If it's an aldehyde, well then that's always on the side. And so you just add AL at the end to the butan. And then the ketone, that's where you would say something like butan and then which carbon it is. And then you would say one. So for ketones, you end it with one. For aldehydes, you end it with AL. And then for alcohols, you end it with all. And notice we always add the word an to whatever we find in this table. So if it's a bit weird for now, that's perfectly normal. As we practice, you're going to become more familiar with it. Thank you for watching.